So, are you ready for this funny story? This is Cora and uh, this is Justin. Cora and Justin met each other. One thing led to another thing. They started dating. Come 2017, they got married and everything was going smoothly for them. Luckily for them, they were blessed with two wonderful kids. But as things progressed, 2022, they decided, you know what, let's call it a quit. And they divorced. And guys, the divorce was not smooth. The divorce was chaotic. The divorce was on a daily. These two couple, Cora and Dean, they kept on abusing each other. They kept on accusing each other. Cora will wake up today and accuse Dean of sleeping with her friends. Dean woke up tomorrow, accused Cora of uh, sleeping with his friend. So it became a tumultuous divorce. And within that divorce process, Dean has applied for spousal support. Because Cora is a well-known Nigerian dancer who based in US. So she's a dancer, she's a songwriter, and uh, she's very popular. And everything was okay. Let's uh, handle this maturely. But no, they decided it's better to fight it out. So they've been going at each other back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until recently, Justin decided, you know what? Let me take this fight to the extreme. I decided to file a report against Cora. And in that report, she urged Cora to stop using their kids while creating content because Cora is a dancer. So during some of her videos, she shows her the faces of her kids. So Justin was like, no, I don't want that. I don't want my kids to be in that kind of area. I don't want my kids to always come out whenever you are making this type of videos. And for Cora, Cora decided, okay, you know what? I have to fight back. But given how I'm not that stable now, I'm not that rich. You know what? I have a group of followers. I have a group of fans that will support me. Let me ask them for help. Cora put out a, a GoFundMe page asking her fans, her supporters, both Nigeria and abroad to help her donate money for legal fees and guys did people donate Whew! people donated money at the end of the whole gofundme cora received fifty four thousand dollars guys fifty four thousand dollars that's a huge sum of money i don't know what type of lawyer she's trying to employ but whatever that lawyer is i think she's winning that case with that kind of money but that's not where the problem is. The problem now is after Cora received $54,000 from her fans, Cora decided, you know what? I've been through enough. Let me just take some vacation. Cora went to Hawaii. <laughs> Cora decided to take vacation in Hawaii. And people have been coming for Cora, asking her, wait, is it that you are no more fighting your legal battles that the money we contributed you are now using it for vacation to take care of us for to take care of yourself i know this money was supposed to go into your legal fees oh blah 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 Cora was busy dancing shaking her ass in hawaii saying thank you to people that donated money i'm thankful take it to i'm grateful take it to what Thank you to all my queens that have enabled me. God bless you. Thank you for empowering me. And for you enabling the knock. What about my nyash? It's you so bad. Is it the size or the curve or the ripple in my ties? Why does moving my legs have to rob me of my rights? To mother, to nurture, to cater to my child. I am not my nyash. I am not the skin. I am the soul that lives within. A little wasp, a little jiggle, a tale of joy that never dwindles. From Africa, 
from generation to generation and uh, that kind of felt uh, people kind of felt back and started calling her out being like no you can't do such a thing you asked us for help for to fight your husband this is what we did we gave you help but now you are taking vacations in hawaii no tell us in details what is happening with our money now Kara decided to host a live stream on instagram to set things straight telling nigerians and the people that donated to her that no the money that you guys donated for me i'm still gonna use it for my legal fees but the vacation that i took I was already booked i've already booked this vacation so i can't say no or i can't go because you guys no the vacation has already been booked and the plans are has already been made so the reason why i'm taking this vacation is because i've already made the plans for this vacation and the money you guys gave me is still with me for me we can just end my life we can in fact make my life stop because i do go for me instagramers facebook and netizens hmm. now why now why now why now why i don't want to do this thing now why now why when you they beg me say me can do them i don't want to them. this trip where i book i'm speaking broken because it's nigerians that are coming for me this trip where i book i don't book and since nigerians drink water you'll be all right jealousy they kill i never ever collect anything for go for me okay and the money will be used for what it says it will be used for rest rest squaniki in jesus name zukwaniki zukwaniki i'm already zukwaniki I'm not your problem and I will never be your problem. Rest in peace. Okay? Jamaica, are you ready for me? I'm coming. Atlanta. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this is all a lie? Do you think that Cora scammed her followers of $54,000? Let me know down below in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Like this video. I'll appreciate that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.